Okay, I give up. I couldn't think of anything witty or interesting to say for this intro. We're building this levitating phone animation with React, Tailwind CSS, and Framer Motion. You can replace the screen with your own app or use the same process to build a desktop version like the one on my website. Great way to show what your app or website does, blah, 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 looks cool, 3D CSS transforms, blah, 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 let's write some code. First, we need a phone. I've got this div with a dark background already set up with a component in it just for this purpose. In our phone component, I'll add a div and give it some background color with a rounded border. We won't actually see this on screen yet, but this will act essentially as the shadow that the phone hovers on. Inside this div, we'll add another div that will make up the body of the phone itself. I'll add a position of relative so that we can absolutely position some of the child elements to this div. Add some width and some height that look about the size of a phone. This is close enough for me. Round those borders as well. And now just do all of this. Just kidding, okay, here's what I did. I've added some border, which makes up the outer edge of our phone. It's two pixels to start, but I've made the bottom and right sides four pixels because those are going to appear closer to us after rotating the phone up and to the left. The border is white, but I've made the left and top bit a bit darker for the same reason of what I said earlier. Essentially, this is all just giving the phone a little bit of fake perspective whenever it's rotated. I set the background to a black color and added some padding. This will act as a slight kind of like inner bezel to the phone, separating the screen from the edge. The amount of padding starts at four pixels, then it's bumped down a little bit on the left and top, again, for the same reason as before. For what's actually shown on the screen, I've made two components, one for the screen app preview thing and another for the header bar with like the little speaker and Wi-Fi and battery. I highly encourage you to just make your own version of these, displaying your own app or website. But if you want my exact version, it's free on my website and there will be a link in the description. So just go get it from there, geez. Anyways, now we have a phone, let's rotate it and make it levitate. I'll add a style prop to my wrapping div, then rotate this on the Y and X axis using transform. I picked minus 30 degrees and 15 degrees just by messing with the numbers, no science at all to this, just find what works for you. Next, I'll turn my inner div, so the div which represents the body of the phone into a motion.div. I'm gonna do this by importing motion from Framer Motion and then prepending that div with it. I feel like I just said div like 30 times. This gives us access to three props, which we wanna check out. In our initial prop, which defines the initial style of our element, I'll translate our element on the Z axis, eight pixels, and the Y axis, minus two pixels. Again, I pick these values randomly. The Z axis moves the element towards us and away from us, and the Y axis moves the element up and down. In our animate prop, which defines the styles for the component after it's been animated from our initial state, we'll add the same style, but increase our translate Z and decrease our translate Y. Finally, we don't just want this to animate one time, we want it to keep going. So I'll define the behavior of this animation in our transition prop by setting repeat to infinity, repeat type to mirror, duration to two seconds, and an ease of ease in out because it looks pretty. The repeat type of mirror means that we're gonna go from our initial state to our animate state back to our initial state smoothly instead of just cutting back to the beginning of the animation. Now to see our animation, drum roll please. And it didn't work. That's because by default, translate Z does nothing. It does nothing because by default, the transform style of elements is flat. On our parent div, we can set our transform style to preserve 3D. The transform style CSS property sets whether children of an element are positioned in 3D space or are flattened in the plane of an element. I'll have these MDN docs in the description. I'll also warn that there are a lot of gotchas with this, but this article on CSS tricks, which I will link in the description as well, talks through all of them. I am personally not gonna walk through all of them because that would make this video super long and definitely not because I don't know all of them and I still mess this up constantly and end up screaming at my computer and make my dogs very sad and confused. Point though, it works here and now we have this beautiful levitating floating phone thingy. Again, all of the code for this is free on my website along with a bunch of other fancy animated components but with React, Tailwind CSS, and Framer Motion. Link in my description for that. You're cute. Goodbye.